Let's hope we're live, right? Okay. Oops. Shit. I just pushed a button. I didn't know if I should push. Okay. So this is the deal. I guess I have to turn it this way, huh? I am. That's it. Okay, so I'm new at this. That's just the bottom line. But let us see if we can start with what we got here. Okay, so the Milan Art Institute, I will put it into chat notes, I guess after, is a one-year program to take basically anyone who wants to be a professional artist to professional artist status in one year. And they have enrollment, I think it's four times a year. This one I have joined and I have joined at the level to have a mentor, private mentor. So I am excited. I am not an, I am an artist in the sense of I love making art. The process of art is what's always drawn me. I am mixed media, I like collage, I like acrylics, I like watercolors. I am not a sketcher, so I'm looking forward to getting, well, I did take a, an art, was it atelier, atelier, atelier course in downtown Honolulu a couple years ago and just loved it. But I don't have money sort of to do that and this, so I'm going to focus on this program. I believe that my son, my youngest son, is also going to be doing it with me but he's concerned about the time commitment that I'm going to start. Let's see what we got. The first thing that we have here is the refined linseed oil by Gamblin. This course is heavy on the oil painting, which I have never, never taken because it's so hard, I would think, in my opinion, to, for art to dry here in white. But I guess we'll see. I guess there's some compounds and things that you can put into it to make it, um, what's what, make it dry faster, make it dry. So the first thing we have on the list is the refined linseed oil. Let me get my checklist so I can check it off. Thing we have here, another one, is the Gal Kid Light. Gal Kid Light. And it is, I'm not even sure, I don't remember what its purpose is right now. Is it to make it, is it, what is it for? I forgot what she said, but it is necessary. Oh, it adds, dins colors, increases transparency and gloss and speeds drying. So there you go, got a big thing, Gal Kid Light. Glazing medium. Let's see. This one was mine. Let us take a look at. Let's see. We have. I already had some of this, but I decided to go ahead and just get their packet instead of having to chase down every little thing from Amazon. So we have a drawing set of uh, pencils drawing in here, all the way from 12B up to 2H art. So we have these drawing pencils. And what else? I have other ones for it. So we got that. We have, once again, I have something like this, but I'm a person that kind of goes, it's like a compulsion to get sort of a kit or whatever it is, because it's just makes it more fun. 
This is like the Milan Art Institute proportion tool. It's nice and big. I have used these before, and these are awesome. They used to use like a plumb line or something where you take the one picture. So I'm familiar with using that. We have in here, let's see what we got here. This is, oh, this is the Willow Charcoal, which I remember using in the Atelier course. Um, just, I like it. I like using it. Um, it's beautiful. So we got lots of Willow Charcoal. So part of what this program I set up, what I'm going to be doing is is exposing or being vulnerable and showing my lack of skill in the beginning. And I'm hoping it'll be interesting to people to see the progression over the year and it will keep me accountable. So these are the graphite water soluble pencils, graphite water soluble pencils. So that's fun. I got those. I haven't ever used those before. And we have, let's see what we got here. Go through it. Sort of oh, palette knives, which see once again, I should have, I have palette knives and they're nicer than this, but I also feel this is one of the things that I can let my son or sons, they may both do it, that they can have their own set. So a set of palette knives. Are nicer. And what else? We have this. Oops, they fell out. There are art erasers. These are the needable type, which are fun. I mean, you just really need them. So I have those, but I don't think it hurts to have more of them, that's for sure. I'll show what they are in a second as I get to the bottom. But okay. those. We also have in here. This is the uh, mono. I think it's Tombow, isn't it? It is an eraser that she suggested, and I had already purchased one before I decided to do the master course. So there's that. It'll be interesting to see how that is used. I haven't used it before. We have the charcoal white pencils, which I think some people were having problems finding. Um, I don't remember looking. I just figured I was using it. She said we don't use it a lot. I believe that. So two charcoal pencils be nice. I can give one to my son if he does continue to do it. And I'll have one for myself. We have these are the pencils. I'm going to go through at the end. So we have, ah, pencil, sorry. The brushes. Here we have like the nib. I think that's what it's called. Where it's used to remove oil painting or, or, or I would guess charcoal or things like a smudger almost at the end. To, to remove paint. I don't have one of those, so that's fun to get. Nope. Here we have, oh, I have a lot of these. These are the blending stuffs. And I always remember thinking, like, I went through blending stuffs quite a lot, and I didn't have a variety like this, so I bought a variety before I signed up for the course and before I bought this box, but once again, I'll be with, I'll have blending stuffs probably for a long time on my son can also use them because he doesn't have any supplies. This, I guess, is the, I if this is the refill for it. Yeah, all right, all right. yep. Here's a, a, re, a refill for the eraser. Never used an eraser like that, so I'm excited. We have here, this is the china marker, which, interesting, my mother is a china painter, so I am familiar with these. Uh, they're grease markers, basically. You can dry and then they're erasable, or they, with pottery and stuff, or, China, it melts away. Um, so I'm not sure how we use them in drawing, but it'll be interesting to see. So grease markers. Got those. You can see, lack of white. So also I should say, I am a new streamer. I'm old enough probably to be everybody's mother, if not grandmother sometimes, but I have a young heart. Okay, here we have six charcoal pencils soft, medium, and hard. Um, I don't think I have these. I don't think I've ever had these. They might be in one of my, my packets or little packets I have. Last night I was watching a fellow artist on tw Twitch and his name, I just blinked on it. I will also, I will be referring to him. A very talented young man and a, a wonderful kind heart. And the chat was very kind also, very nice. 
here we have the two white erasers. I have these. I don't care for these very much, but at least I have more of them. Maybe my son will like them. Okay, what else we got down here? Oh, I didn't know this when I opened it earlier. Here we have, it's very pretty. Okay, oh, it's charcoal sketching. See, it's the same thing, but it's fun. Maybe I'll let my son have this one. Charcoal sketching, it's got the white charcoal, it's got stumps, it's got the thing to sharpen the tip of your pencils. I need to get a new um, blade, you know, razor blade, because that is the way I, I was taught how to do it, and I understood it, and it worked much better than just using a pencil sharpener. But once again, it's a nice set that perhaps my son will, will want to have, so he'll have some nice, clean, new supplies as we start. Wait, now we're in the, or almost in the orientation phase. The 15th and the 22nd, those two weeks, are for getting supplies together. I am going to, sometime in the next couple days, get the glass to make the, the palettes, one for myself, one for my son. Um, I have a really nice, good easel that's being shipped from Arizona, but it won't be here in time. And I understood the way she was talking about it to have the type that they be good to make one. So we're going to make at least one, if not two. So if my son, my son will have one, we can make two. Won't hurt because we can have, you know, a couple, uh, you know, paintings going at the same time. Here's the erasers that fell out of that packet. These are fun. I like so I will be referring to other artists. And for example, right now, what I'm trying to do is very hard when you, I, everybody has it. I'm not saying I'm different because I'm not. And it's hard when you have a priority like making art and art makes me happy. The process of art makes me happy. Being in connection with God and, and feeling inspired by God is, it just expands my whole day. It expands my heart. But there's also the part about having to be a provider uh, for, you know, rent and car payment and, and all these different things. And I have uh, a situation going, a mixed situation where um, unemployment, which I'm due, and disability because I had neck surgery and you know, blah, blah, blah. But it's, it's, it's hard to fit the art time in. I'm going to have to find, I'm going to find, I want to find the 20 hours to, to do it. Uh, I think I'll get an idea probably in the first couple of weeks of how much is the video, which I can watch during different times. And then we'll probably do the majority of the painting on early mornings on the weekend. Um, I do have times like today where I had a cancellation. So I will, I spent, so I was like, you know what? I want to do this. I'm not going to just take pictures. I'm just going to stream. I'm uncomfortable with the way my voice sounds because it's like two months after surgery, but everybody else says it sounds fine. I'm just gonna go ahead. So let's, I found another medium at the bottom. Let's see here. We have here, this is the cold wax medium. I can't even remember what she said this was for, but let's see, what does it say? My eyes are not so good. It's an oil painting medium made from naturally white beeswax and gamsol. Cold wax medium makes oil colors thicker and more matte. Cold wax medium can be applied as a matte varnish. When using more than one third cold wax to all colors, we recommend painting on rigid supports. Now, so that's interesting. These are all new type of supplies for me, which is why I never ventured into oils because it just seems very complex. Um, I'm excited about, I saw, I think it's Emily Jeffords, where she makes her own oils, um, her own oils uh, using a binder and just using like mineral from places around her and I absolutely that'd be fun to try here in Hawaii what things I could use that are natural pigments that would seem to be a lot of fun okay so we're gonna go on I think let's go with the Rembrandt ones first because most of them are gambling these were kind of the hard part when I was looking at getting this stuff on Amazon and the things I already had to get the set to get all the different colors and oils just seemed like, honestly, like a pain in the ass when I am you know, tight on time. So, that was what, and also that I would have had to buy bigger tubes and I don't know if I'm gonna like oils. So let's start with what we have. Let's see, we have Rembrandt. This is an oil color of, of what color is this? Transparent yellow. Transparent yellow. I understand that Rembrandt is a good brand. 
there is also, I mean, I think these, oh, this is the Gamblin, this is the 19, Gamblin 1980, the stu student part, the ivory black, so I got that. We also have cobalt violet. Oh, nobody's coming to see me. See, I don't know anybody. I think other people make going through supplies more interesting, more fun, but I think it's part of sharing my journey and maybe getting to know me and what I'm about. I uh, also do photography. I've always made time for for these different art things as part of my process. And when I start to feel really overwhelmed and unhappy and uh, just de just despair, I will usually try to start doing even coloring books, things like that. Okay, we got a big ass tube of titanium white. I know that that's in the fast dry formula. We have, let's see what's in this one. We have Coming up on, okay, Mars Black. She must have given two tubes of this because I think I already have that one, don't I? Uh, maybe I already did this one. Nope. Payne's Gray. Ultramarine Blue. That's these three. I have to see. I said why. I have the extra black. Just hold that out. And this is hard to get into. Let's just wait. We have here these three. We have Venetian red. Ooh, pretty color. Radiant violet. I have a feeling I'm going to be using that one. And yellow okra. I love art museums. A couple years ago, took my son. We went on a cross country on the train and got stuck because of a some sort of death, I think, in whatever it was. People working on the train, we had to wait until they caught up. So we ended up in Chicago overnight and I got to go to the Chicago Art Institute. One of the best experiences, I think, of my artist's life. Here we have the quinacridone violet. We have transparent red okra. I'm sorry about the quality of the, I have a gimbal and I used it for something but I didn't stay with it. Transparent yellow okra, oxide, sorry. So I'm confident I will get better. I'm not comfortable showing my face on camera because I've gotten old and just don't look so great. But it's part of getting old. The wisdom is shown in my face. Okay, here we have India yellow. We have quinacridone magenta. Pretty. It'll be fun to play with these and mix. Dioxazine purple. We have radiant red by Gamblin. So this, this is like the real, this is not the 1981. So I think that's professional grade, she said. I'd be interested in what oils you guys like to use or have this be interactive, what experiences you have with oil or art classes or art classes online. And it is a pretty raw umber. I took a yoga certification online and I think it was a bad teacher. Um, it was a bad, not a good process. Perlene Red, so I did unfortunately wasted the money on that. But I also, that was when COVID was going on and lost my job. And, Thalo Blue. You can see the 1980s. I think as she said, Gamblin. Here we have the Radiant Magenta. It's the full one. And we have, oh, this pretty green, Radiant Green. Artist color. Goodness, we're getting down so many oils. That's why I think the price was so expensive, which is, I said, fine with me. Some of them weren't available on Amazon. You had to, I, would have been a lot of effort to go around and get them all on Jerry's or get them all on Blix. So I just have to let it go that I got extra supplies. Of it. Okay, right here now I've got Cadmium Orange Deep, Patholo Green, Cadmium Yellow Light. 
Alright, I'm excited to see what we get to make. I can't wait. I'm not that fond of the art style that the school does, but I've been encouraged that I will find my own artist voice, and so I'm comfortable with that. I mean, I, their stuff is just beautiful and gorgeous. It's just not my, not my cup of tea, which is fine. I don't think they'd be, I probably, what I make will not appeal to them. Transparent earth yellow. Maybe well, the basics of like good composition, radiant turquoise, sap green. We'll get down. Oh gosh, there's still a lot here in here. Did I put these already. Pathalo green, cadmium yellow light. I think there must be doubles or something. I must use them light a lot. I'll go through these a little more quickly since it's probably not that interesting. Maybe it is. I don't know. This is cadmium orange. Uh, that's not a good way of showing pictures, is it? And cadmium red medium. I'm a beginning artist. I think it's, you know, I have I have bravery, I think, to show. And then I look around at others and I'm like, oh my God, why am I showing my stuff? I'm nowhere in the same ballpark. But everybody starts somewhere. Here's quinacridone red. I firmly believe that drawing is a skill. It's not just a God-given talent. I think it's practice. There's another red. You guys are, I think it is a practice skill. I think it's a way of looking and seeing the world a lot like I have developed and honed my listening skills. And uh, those skills as a therapist over the years, they didn't come nat somewhat naturally, but I had to develop them to, to a professional level. Gamblin, this is radiant blue. I love that kind of periwinkle blue. I love color. That's also something I've also been very attracted to. Even in in my photography, you can tend to see the color choice. I mean, the color sticks out for me. Cadmium yellow medium. I think we already did that one. And we have Van Dyke brown. I know I've seen that before in something. Okay, near in the end. Not sure how long I've talked. I don't think anyone's there. Or I think there's one person. Maybe it's just me. They're not saying anything. So if you are watching, would you please just say hello or say aloha? It would make me feel really good. Okay, here is Aliz Alizarin Cramsel. Oh, how do you say that? Cram Crimson. Sorry, I looked at the bottom one. Alizarin Crimson. Part of becoming an artist for me was that I am not able to sit in front of a computer enough hours at the rate of pay of private practice. Um, it's not gone up in like 10 years. So it's, it requires more work to kind of stay stable. And I don't have the physical power or strength to do that anymore. It's not good for my neck. I just had neck surgery. Three cages put in, in Jan on January 6th. And I'm sure that it came from the 25, 20, whatever years of sitting on my butt, you know, leaning in, showing concern and care, genuine concern. I'm not a straight, you know, posture type of person, never have been, but the, being a therapist didn't help it. Okay, we have Viridian and Prussian Blue. I don't know, sometimes people like stream of consciousness, and when there's an active audience, it can work better. But I think I might get to a point where I'll just do, you know, kind of, not my whole time painting, because I don't think that'd be that, I'm a beginner. I cuss a lot, probably. Here, this is a really nice sketch journal that I saw that she suggested, but I could not find anywhere. I like the silver and stuff. I bought another one at Walmart. Let me see if I can find it. Quickly. So, the sketch pad that I got at Walmart is this one you put your own, and it was just like five bucks. And I decided yesterday I was going to start it with, with this, March 9th, with my hands. I haven't finished it. It was a class with Marnie something, I forget her name. She's a wonderful artist. And we were doing a crayon something episode, a uh, training and I had the pastels to use, and I just went with this, 
wanting to so I outline my hands and I want to finish that and I figured this is a good way I can start you know every episode oh over here I saw a video that talked about making some like small little sketches like thumbnails for what you want might want to put on your first page and these are certainly like maybe having a theme for a sketchbook so I may do that at some point this one I, I, I might do lines because I've been doing draw a box there. So the idea would be, right, to practice the drawing. Oops, yeah, that's not a good position for the, for the brushes. I'm not good at carrying the brushes. We have two, like, filberts here, right? Are they both filberts? Very good. This is Milan Mastery, you see? So, also, I, if you're interested, they, I'm not sure if there's more of a sign up or what's going on right now, but you can always have a bunch. How many are there? I'll go through those maybe another time as they warrant more time. So, and then it came with a little case to put them all in. This kind of interesting, right? Or maybe just other stuff. I don't know about the art. Let's see. Oh, it's a backpack. Oh, that's nice. And that's the Milan Master. That's what I'm going to be doing. Keep me accountable. I'm not going to drop out. I don't know how I'm going to find all the time, but I will. I find God, time for God, and maybe time with God will be also with my painting. I really feel called, almost like a commission from God. I wish I would have written down more of that story. But basically... It was about serving and creating. I've been reading Genesis intensely. And I have also been very much involved, like I said, wanting to do more artwork. I, I see that becoming a professional artist, this program says like a year, but I am wise enough to know it won't be a year. But I can probably do it in 10 years. So it'd be by the time I'm like 67, 68. I mean, it gives me time. So that although I could continue being a therapist, um, I'll be able to get up and have other things that will help me to move around and not sit on my butt. I can be out painting. I can be out at events, showing my art. I have a dream of doing a coffee, ta a coffee table book of photography. Uh, I have lots of actually events and things I'd like to do. That requires you no know, effort and time, but I. I said I set this goal probably seven, like 10 years ago. Yeah, at least 10 years ago. So it'll be a 20 year goal by the time I get there. I had to, maybe, anyway. Um, because as my boys leave the house, and they are getting closer to leaving and starting their lives. I wanted to have a hobby or, or something that would really be passionate and I could pursue without, you know, without the guilt of having to think about caring for them or child care for them or time away from them. So this is a great time to be able to start that and make that dream come true. Or maybe I, I won't be successful and it will just be for my own pleasure and process. And I guess we'll see. I think that it's very possible. I think it just takes time and effort. And I'm hoping the feedback will also kind of guide me. So I, I thank you for watching my sort of very first, I wish I would have remembered the how to use a silly gimbal but anyway i thank you if you watch this please leave a a oh comment so it's 30 minutes i will work on it all of it's going to get better at some point so i say have a wonderful day aloha